friends call me Nick. I was born in London, and now I live in New York City. What do you do? Uh, I run People's Television. It's a video production company based in New York City and Washington D.C. We make animations, documentaries, commercials, and even feature films. Do you like living in New York? I love living in New York City. A lot of people think it's too crowded, or it's too busy, or it's too stressful. But for me, I think it's just the energy of the place is something I really love. First, it's great because my friends, my family are all here because I grew up here. But also, there's so much happening culturally. There's always music going on, always films happening. All of my friends live here because I went to high school and junior high school here in New York City. What I love most about New York City is all of the different cultures, communities, and ethnicities that are here. People who live in New York, known as New Yorkers, have a reputation for being impatient and rather bad-tempered. But this is just a stereotype. Most, like Nick, are hardworking and ambitious. What do you like about your New York neighbors? People here are always really passionate about what they're doing, whether it's their business or their art or、um, their job. And I love the energy that the city has. New York is an enormous and exciting city, with a population of over eight million people. Many parts of New York are modern, crowded, and noisy. But there are also older, quieter areas that are home to lots of artists and creative young people, like Nick. Which part of the city do you live in? I live in Soho, in Lower Manhattan, in New York City, and I love my neighborhood because it's so full of history. A lot of the buildings are over a hundred years old, and they were factories. And the building that I live in is an old factory that was turned into apartments. Nick's apartment is great. It's on the second floor, and it's pretty big and quiet. It's the perfect place for him to relax. Nick enjoys practicing yoga in his free time, and the apartment is very convenient too. It's only a ten-minute cycle ride from his office. New York is a city famous for its cosmopolitan population. It's a city of optimistic immigrants. People who came from around the world in search of new lives, and Nick's family is no exception. So, where does your family come from? So, I have a really interesting family background. My mother's side of the family is from India, from Calcutta, which is in the east part of India, and my father's side of the family is from Europe, from what、uh, is now Belarus. Nick's father's family came to New York to escape the Second World War, like many other European immigrants. But his mother's family story is very unusual. So my grandfather came from India in the 1930s, which was very unusual. There weren't a lot of Indian people here in New York City at that time. Now there are a lot, and he was a blind professor. Nick's grandmother. Was a New Yorker. She lived in an area of the city called the Bronx. So, how did she meet a blind professor from India in this city of millions of people? My grandmother was from the Bronx, and the story is that because he was blind, he was having trouble crossing the street, and she helped him out, and they crossed the street together, fell in love, and then they went from New York City to India. And got married in the 1940s. Nick's grandparents returned to New York from India, and both of his parents were born in the city. My mother and my father met here in New York City, so I'm part Indian and part Eastern European. Who do you look like? Everybody says that I look just like my mom, and that my brother looks just like my dad. 
I have the same skin color, hair color, eye color as my mom. And my brother has the same skin color, hair color, and eye color as my dad. So some people think we look alike. I think we couldn't look more different. Are you still close to your family today? I'm really close with my brother. I like to stay in touch with him, even though he lives in Germany. So we Skype or FaceTime or video chat almost every day, whenever we have time. I'm also lucky that my mom lives right here in New York City, so I'm able to visit her sometimes after work. We'll have dinner and hang out. My family loves to travel. Every year, we'll take a trip if we have time. Sometimes we'll go to the Caribbean and go scuba diving, which is awesome. Sometimes we'll go to Europe. My brother lives in Germany, and he's an opera conductor. So we'll go there, visit him, and see his operas. And then when we have time, we go to India, which is where my mother's family is. Uh, they're amazing cooks, and we'll eat great Indian food and hang out in Calcutta, which is where her family is from. All right. Um, so we listen to the video. That was very helpful for us. Today we are going to start from, let me see how much we cover. We, we have done this one, right? Epti Sam, you here? Yes, I hear. Yeah, we have done this one. Yes. Okay, we're going to start from here today. Is okay. Alex Alex here active? Alex? 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 All right, um, we have to wait a little more time until they come. As you know, it's a group study, so we need some more students to join. So Okay, no problem. Yeah, we stay in line. I'll, 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 I'll put some video on for you. They're very helpful and they're also part of our lesson too. Okay. 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 As my dad. So some people think we look alike. I think we couldn't look more different. Are you still close to your family today? I'm really close with my brother. I like to stay in touch with him, even though he lives in Germany. So we Skype or FaceTime or video chat almost every day, whenever we have time. I'm also lucky that my mom lives right here in New York City, so I'm able to visit her sometimes after work. We'll have dinner and hang out. My family loves to travel. Every year, we'll take a trip if we have time. Sometimes we'll go to the Caribbean and go scuba diving, which is awesome. Sometimes we'll go to Europe. My brother lives in Germany, and he's an opera conductor. So we'll go there, visit him, and see his operas. And then when we have time, we go to India, which is where my mother's family is. Uh, they're amazing cooks, and we'll eat great Indian food and hang out in Calcutta, which is where her family is from. Today, Nick is a full-time filmmaker. He owns and runs his own successful video production company. Did your parents influence your choice of career? So my dad was always a business and numbers guy, but my mother is an artist. She was an opera singer when she was younger and she loves movies, she loves music. And I think a lot of the artistic spirit that I have comes from her. So I think in some ways what I'm doing is really a perfect mix between my dad and my mom. They were both a big influence on me and I hope they're proud. Running your own video production company sounds like a challenging and exhausting business. What's your job like? I love making movies. I've made movies since I was a little kid and I'm always looking around and thinking about things that I see and the stories that are out there. And I'm always thinking about how to tell great stories using film. So I will go to location, 
interview people, work with actors, bring a film crew together that can be camera people, sound people, editors, animators, and I bring the whole team together to try to make the best film possible. As you can imagine, I'm really busy. I'm always doing 10 projects at the same time. I'm often traveling. So sometimes for a video that's only a minute long, we might shoot 10 hours of footage. I just came back from India, Norway, and Seattle doing a global commercial where we filmed for almost 10 days, and the whole thing will be edited into one minute. Although it can be exhausting, Nick's job is never boring. He's got a great team around him, and he is always excited about the next project and the opportunity to tell a brand new story. And the remarkable history of his immigrant family is never very far from Nick's mind when he is working. A lot of the films that I've made are about the stories of immigrants. They're about people who have come from one country or one culture and moved into another in the hopes of trying to have a better life. And what I'm really interested in is how can movies change the way people think, the way they feel, the way they act? How can films make people more caring about each other, make them see points of view that they weren't familiar with before, and hopefully make the world a little bit better? So our company is called People's TV because we make movies about people that you don't always see uh, on TV. All right, we have listened to your beautiful videos. Uh, they're really helpful to learn the pronunciation as well as to know about different aspects of the life, especially the, the video was talking about the New York life and Nick's successful um, filmmaking business. Empty um, Sam, you're here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, and... Well, there are a lot more students who are supposed to come. We have a student around uh, in intermediate, I think around 20. In pre-intermediate, we have around 15. Uh, no one is here. <clears throat> is Alex here? Alex? Alex? Yes, sir. Alex, can you hear me? Yes, I'm getting you. Alex? Yes. OK. So we can start. Both of you, um, Ibtisam here, Alex here. Can you uh, turn on your video, please, so that we, we looks like a bit of active. Both of you, please. Turn on your video. OK. So a few more students come, but we cannot wait any more longer. We'll start working, see how far we can go. and. Now, we are going to start from here today. If not that much student come, we wouldn't do that much. See, as much as we can, we'll do. Okay. Yesterday, we have finished up to this. Uh, I, I believe you have done that one too. So, we're going to start from here today. Okay. Now, a personality quiz. Look quickly at the word puzzle. Find four adjectives. Do they really describe you? Tell the class. See, here is a word puzzle. It's hard to find. There are some adjectives here. You need to find those adjectives. Uh, can you try finding out any adjective here? Can I try, sir? Please, both of you keep searching. Both of you searching okay. and let me know. Okay, yeah. Alex, start. You'll find the yeah. four adjective. Good, good looking. Good looking. Yes, one there's a bit of mark here. Yeah, good, uh, good looking. Yeah. I, I can't hear you properly, Alex. Uh, is there any sound problem? Can you be, be a bit louder, please? Thank you. Cheerful. Okay, good. 
so we got good looking yeah next pa passion which one passion and which line it is uh the fifth one flow uh, down starting from the bottom the fifth okay. one one two three four fifth here right yes we can Pashwan. see that we can see happy okay i'm going to mark them we can see one happy happy one right passion one, happy then passion up uh, yeah passion passionate uh passion passionate we can say passionate right okay yeah. yes passionate hard working passionate hard working what is the hard working the yeah. fifth one from the top the, the like do, do, third do. one from the top okay fifth one from the top uh -uh. The third uh, one from the top okay yep yeah. hard working hard working Third third one from the top. Okay, Nuruddin has come. Nuruddin, uh, yes. we are working on this one. So, the can you find out some adjectives here? The third line. Third, the third, line. Line. third line. One, two, third three. Line. Yeah, third line. Yeah. What, what do you get? Hard uh, working. Oh, 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 oh. The third, the third, not the fourth. The third, it's up the good looking. Okay. And there is the one I can see. Charming, charming. Good. Yeah. Now, and funny. Well, what about funny? You can mark also. I think you have access. You have access there too. Mark, mark it. You can mark also which one you mean. Mark it. Charming is a. Yeah, this is a charming. We got a charming. We got we got a good looking. And we funny. got a happy. We got a passionate. Ah, passionate. Sensitive. Lazy. Sensitive. Sensitive. Oh, okay, sensitive. Which line the sensitive is? Sensitive. Second one from the bottom. Okay, second one from the bottom. Yes, sensitive. We got a sensitive too. Good. Plainly. Plainly. Where about it is? Friendly. Hmm. Second one from the top. Second one from the top. Second one from the top. Friendly, yes. Friendly. Friendly, right. Good. We got it. Friendly. If to some, can you try some more? Funny. Alex, uh, funny. Lazy. Funny is fourth one from the top. Lazy. We got a lazy, right? This is the one you're talking about, lazy. Yeah. And uh, I'm saying funny. The, and, uh, the lazy. One, two, three, yeah. four. Okay, what is the funny? If uh, funny the, is the, the fourth line. Lazy. Fourth line from the top. Yes. And the lazy. Yes, this is the one. Funny. Good. So you got a lot of adjective here. They are all adjective. Ambitious. Careful. Ambitious. Uh, how next to your lazy? Okay, so Ambitious. one by one. Nurdin was telling. Let let the Nurdin tell. Yes, Nurdin, find out. Uh, hard working is uh, next to the lazy. Hard working next the to the lazy. Yes, the that's right. Line. This yes. is the one. Hard working. That's yeah. right. Good. What else? What else? Ambitious. All right. Ambitious. What about ambitious is? The, uh, where the, uh, where good looking is now down. Okay, what the good looking it's now? Okay, what, what, what you can say, ambitious? ambitious the, the, on the fifth uh, line, uh, on the fifth line, fifth line. Okay, this line, line right? Yeah. Huh. Ambitious. Ambitious. Okay. Fifth line. One, two, three, four, fifth, fifth line. Yes, ambitious. We got it. And, and uh, first, no. yeah. Ambish, no, it doesn't become the ambitious. Reserve, anyway, we, we got enough enough adjective to talk and discuss. So that will do. So, so here it said, look reserve. quickly at the word puzzle, find four adjectives. Do they really describe you? Tell the class. So here we can uh, see 
starting from Alex, since you got a lot of um, um, uh, adjective you found. Now, tell me the adjective we got friendly, hardworking, lazy, good looking, funny, ambitious, charming, happy, and passionate. Can you, ex can you fit in yourself and tell the class that if, if those are available into you or which you are not available into you, can you please talk about yeah. it? I don't come again. Yeah. See the adjective, I think who else understand? Nuruddin, have you understood? Yeah. Okay, can you can you describe, please? Tell me. Um, I am a sudden person. Mm -hmm. Nuruddin, carry on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I am a sudden person. Example. Now, see, this is the adjective we have here. Based on yeah. these adjectives, I want you to describe you. Do they really? Yeah. Yes. And tell the class, please. Yes. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a friendly person. Uh, you're friendly? Like, uh, yes. Yeah. So you're friendly uh, and you're not lazy, but you're hardworking, right? Sometimes. Uh, good. I, I, Mm -hmm. Carry yeah. on. Try as many as Sorry. sentences you can make using these adjectives, please. No, then try. Yeah. Try to use yeah. all of the adjective we have and make some sentence out of this, please. Yes, uh, I'm, a, I'm a friendly person. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like uh, uh, a hardworking person. Yep. Good. Uh, I have uh, some uh, some uh, some ambitious uh, friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I'm patient. I'm patient uh, about uh, history. Mm -hmm. That's all. Good. Now next, um, Alex, you try, please. Yes, sir. Well, I'm friendly. Mm -hmm. I'm hardworking. Hardworking. Not lazy. Good. I'm good looking. Very good. And I'm kind of funny. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so ambitious mm -hmm. to join this group. Good. It's, it's so charming. I'm very happy for you, sir. And are you passionate? And I'm passionate. passionate. Good. I want to see this passionate. Okay. Next. Uh, where is... Uh, has she left? The... Okay, I think she left. That's fine. We'll... Um... Now... So we got this one. Here, number nine, if you read, do the quiz and find out what kind of person you really are. Write Y for yes and N for no and S for sometimes. Go through your answer with partner. Are you similar or different? So here we have around 16 questions. Read one by one. Do you have a pen and paper? Do you have yeah. a pen and paper? Good. Read one by one and write it down which one you are. Since we don't have uh, enough uh, students, we'll go one by one like this. Uh, and you, But you still you have to write it down in the paper, okay? So that we can discuss later. Are you usually smiling and happy? Uh, you know, write it down. Read, read it and write it down, please, one by one. Like this, yes, why for yes, and for no, and as for, for sometimes. Okay, this part. Yes. Both of you. Are you usually smiling and happy? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, good. You can Do see. you enjoy the company of other people? Yes, I do. 
Write it down. Do I want you to write it, down. Do you find it difficult to meet new people? No, I don't. Do you have definite plans for your future career? Mm, maybe. Does your mood change often and suddenly for no reason? Sometimes. Do you notice other people's feelings? Uh, yeah, I do. Do you, do you think the future will be good? Yeah, I do. Can your friends depend on you? Yes or no? Is your room open, Macy? No. Do you no. get annoyed when you have? Do you get yes. annoyed when you have to wait for anyone yeah. or anything? Yes, I don't like to do wait for anyone. Okay. Okay, now, do you find reasons to do tomorrow things you should do today? Mm, yeah. Do you always work hard? Yeah, often. Do you keep your feelings and ideas to yourself? Yes, I do. Do you often give presents? Uh, not often. Do you talk a lot? Yes, I do. Are you usually calm and not worried by things? Yeah, I am. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Is is Ali Muhammad here? Ali, I've seen him. Okay, now switch over and now Nuruddin ask him this same question to Alex and Alex, you please uh, note it down oh. either yes for why for yes and for no or as for sometimes. Okay, please. I beg your pardon, yeah. sir. I beg your yeah. pardon, please. Yes, please. Hello, sir. Yeah, on this I thing. I haven't got where to lie. For... Yes, I haven't got where to lie. Where I am, there is no pen, there is no paper. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. Just keep it, uh, you know, uh, that's fine. Just say that and remember that. That'll do. Okay. No problem. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. You, okay. you can ask now. Okay. Are you usually smiling and happy? I'm always smiling and happy. Good. Do you enjoy the company of other people? Mostly I enjoy even, I want even to join them. No. Do you find it difficult to meet new people? No, I don't find it difficult because I want to learn new culture. Good. Do you have this definite plans for your future career? Very much. That's the reason why I joined these classes. I want to improve my things and do other things in future. Does your mood change often and suddenly for no reason? No, I don't change for no reason. I change when there is something taking place. No. Do you okay. notice stop, stop here. Nuruddin, stop here. Now, Ali, okay. Ali, you're here. Can you please ask question from number six to Mr. Alex? Ali, would you like to participate? Can you hear me? Ali, can you hear me? It doesn't seem that he's hearing us. Yeah. Anyway, Nuruddin, carry on. Okay. 
do you notice other people's feelings? I'm very merciful. All I want is to help when I see that someone is struggling. Do you think the future will be good? Pardon? Pardon? Can you say you don't? Signal, sig come again. Okay. Can your friends depend on you? On number seven. We are on we are on number seven. Number seven. Do you think the future will be good? Very much. I have that hope. Good, great. Can your friends depend on you? I have a family depending on me. Good. Is your room off missing? No, my sisters are always cleaning it. Good. Do you get annoyed when you have to wait for anyone or anything? Yes, when there is a very important program, I do get annoyed. Yeah. Do you find reasons to do tomorrow things you should do today? Yes, I find reasons because I'm a very busy, busy person. Yeah. Do you always work hard? I'm a very hard worker. That's the reason why sometimes I join even late. Well, do you keep your feelings and ideas to yourself? Yes, I do keep. Yeah. Do you often give presents? I'm always helping. Yeah. Do you talk a lot? Yes, I do, because I was taking literature. Are you usually calm and not worried by things? I do get worried when things are getting worse. All yeah. right, uh, that, that, that'll do. Now, is Ibtisam back? Yes, Ibtisam? I'm here. Okay, good. And Ali Muhammad, I can see you. Would you like to participate? I cannot hear you. Are you talking? Ali? Would you like to participate? Mr. Ali Mohammed? Your voice is not coming. I think you muted. For what? Anyway, he cannot hear. Now, we can see, we'll go to the number 10. Match the adjectives below with the questions in the quiz, which describe you and your partner, describe your partner to the class. Now, as you can see, reliable. Reliable goes to number eight. Can your friends depend on you? That's eight. Lazy. For lazy, moody, generous, cheerful, easygoing, Talkative, all the adjectives, it could be positive, even negative. Okay, positive, even negative. If it is negative, what is the negative? If it is positive, that's why I want wanted to write it down when you say something, yes or no, so that accordingly you had to answer. Anyway, so for this, we'll go from here one by one. All of you will have a look on and find out which adjective describe the best from here? If it is positive, then positive. If it is negative, then we have to find the negative one, the opposite word. Okay. So are you usually oh. smiling and happy? Are you usually uh, smiling and happy? Which one goes here? Careful. 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 What was your answer? Are you happy all the time? Was you? Okay. Yes, I am. I am careful. Okay. What is the cheerful uh, opposite? Uh, not happy. Sad. Not happy. Unhappy. Unhappy. Sad. Unhappy. Miserable. Like this, yeah. Okay. So friendly. Friendly is the. No, no, friendly doesn't come. Just want to. Hmm. It takes a bit of time. They get. 
I just really have to go back again because I get hanged. All right, so, so number two, one point. number two, do you enjoy the company of the people? Do you enjoy the company of the people? What was your question? Answer, yes or no? Both of you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so which adjective will fit in here? Again, enjoy, enjoy the company of the other people. Try to find out. Uh, yeah. Do you enjoy the company of other people? Which adjective here goes? Who can say that one, please? Sociable. Sociable. Yeah. All right. Um, do you enjoy the company? Any, anyone else would like to say anything? Okay, I see. Sociable. Yes, number yeah. two. Sociable. Good. Number three, do you find it difficult to meet new people? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Do you find do you find it difficult to meet new people? You know, when do you find it difficult to meet new people? Oh, like, shy. Yes, shy. 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 Like. Yeah. Like girls usually find it difficult to meet with the boy you know sometimes not always so that's what yeah. it is shy number three good number four do you have definite plan for your future career plans for your future career uh number four what will be the answer plan for the future ambitious ambitious, ambitious. anyone else i want everyone to participate please optimistic optimistic Optimistic. Okay. Good. And any anything else? I guess ambitious. Okay. Number four. We read again. Do you have definite plans for your future career? You mm. said ambitious. Okay. You said optimistic. Bit of close by. We'll check both of them anyway. Which one should I check first? Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. So it is yeah. them. I can even make a sentence using optimistic. Optimistic for the future, for the holistic. Optimistic is something a little slightly different. You may be able to make yeah. sentence, but this sentence doesn't go with this one. This goes about the ambitious. Okay, we'll find out that one too. Number six, do you notice other people's feelings? Do you notice other people's feelings? Hmm? Sensitive. Jealous. Sensitive. 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 And or is it to some? Can you please try? I want everyone to participate, please. Ali it's Muhammad. Sensitive. sensitive. Ali Muhammad, what will be this one? You here? No, he's always anyway. I haven't found him a single day, but I see him every day. I don't know why he come for. All right. Yeah, it's a six. That's right. Number seven. Do you think the future will uh, be good? Sir, sir. The, the five question. Okay, uh, one second. 
Nuruddin, you hold on. I want you to yes. participate, everyone. Please, Aptisam, what will be this one? If she can't, we then don't, you... we don't care. Number seven, we do you think... We did, we did this do the, 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 the fight the question. So I didn't get you. What did you say? We didn't answer the, 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 the five question. Uh, the, the seven? The, 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 the fifth question. Okay, we're on the seven. Five. Do you, would you think now the five question, question the it is fifth, not answered. Fifth. Oh, number, oh, fifth question. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Does your mood change often and suddenly for no reason? Does your mood yeah. change often and suddenly for no reason? Which one? Moody. It's moody. Moody. It's moody. First of all, mm -hmm. first of all, the question is yes or no. Then if it is yes, we find out here. If no, then we have to make opposite one. So not to do opposite one, don't say no. If it is no, just say no and we'll try to find out the opposite one. Okay. All yeah. right. So this one was moody, right? Let me see. Number five. Mm. Yes, that's right. Six, we have done. Seven. Do you think the future will be good? Seven. Yes, optimistic. There you go. Now I think it's optimistic. Yes. So it's all about future thing is the optimistics. Okay, and if it is no, what will be the answer? Optimistic, yes. Do you think the future will be good? If you feel, if you think the future will not be good, what will be the answer? Disappointed. Pessimistic. Pessimistic. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go. But we believe future will be good, obviously. Next one. Can your friends depend on you? Reliable. Yes, already there. Reliable. Yes. Nine. Yeah. Is your room often messy? Is your room often messy? Untidy. Which one? Untidy. Un yes, untidy. 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 But what's your untidy. answer? Is your room? always messy but you said your room wasn't messy right so you have to change the answer it's tidy it's tidy yes so you're tidy you don't have to say from here you can go opposite you know we can we yeah. can find the opposite word all that depends on the you know what we answer based on the answer our adjective will come so we put it here anyway that's going to be nine. That's related to this. But your answer can be changed. Is your room often messy? If you say yes, my room is messy, then you're untidy. But if you say no, no I'm very tidy and clean, like uh, Alex's sister cleaned up, as you mentioned earlier. So that should be tidy, the opposite one. Number 10, do you get annoyed when you have to wait for anyone or anything? Yes, I do. Which one? Impatient. 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 Alex, anything else? The impatient, yes. Impatient. Correct. Good. Number 10, impatient. Number 11, do you find reasons to do tomorrow things you should do today? Do you find reasons to do tomorrow's things you should do today? Which one? Mm, lazy. <laughs> lazy, right. Doesn't want to do it today? Always say tomorrow, tomorrow. Number 12. Do you always work hard? Yeah. Yes? What is the answer? Hard working. Hard Alex, working. Ibtisam, please try hard yourself, work. Ibtisam. I don't want everyone. Nurdin, um, you need to be quiet now. I want so okay. someone who doesn't answer often. Okay, please. Do you keep your feelings and ideas to yourself? Ibtisam, please. I'll go to the question. Do you keep your feelings and ideas to yourself? Here. It's a talk, talkative. Which one? Talkative? Talkative, I think. 
No, not really. Alex? Reserve it. Sensitive. Yeah, yeah. What did you say, Eptisum? Sensitive. No, not too sensitive. It's a reserved. We have reserved. already answered. It's a reserved, right? Reserved. reserved. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah. Dirty, reserved. So we, we keep inside. We don't want to tell anyone. Whatever idea, feelings we have, we just keep yeah. it in, in into ourselves. We don't express reserved. to everyone. That's something reserved. Okay, reserved. Do you often give presents? Do you often give presents? Generously. Generous. Yeah. What's your answer? Do you? Yes or no? Yes? I think Generous. yes. Generous. Okay. Do you talk a lot? Yeah. Talk at it. Talk at it. Lux, are you usually calm and not worried by things? Is it going? Is it going? All right, good. Now, we learned about this adjective from these sentences, okay? So these are the adjectives we learned. These are some adjectives we learned and we also learned how to use them in our conversation. Now, what are the opposite of the adjectives? These are the adjectives we have, which is really good, but our answer could be opposite, right? Yes, instead of yes, it could be no. So if it is no, we have to answer opposite of this. Now, see how many opposite we can find out. Reliable. What is the opposite of reliable? Irreliable. Irreliable. Anything else? Yeah. Yes. We can. It can be more than one or two even. So you can. Unconfident. Huh? Dependable. Dependable. Huh? Okay. Lazy. Hard working. Lazy, hard working. Okay, good. Moody. Easy going. Moody, easy going. Yeah, can be easy going. Generous. Intidy. Uh, what is that? Yeah. Intidy. Intidy. Uh, huh? Stingy. 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 Yes. Yeah. Stingy. Generous, stingy. The another one? Any any more? He's very mean, right? Mean, 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 mean stingy. Good, cheerful. What will the cheerful? Cheerful. Opposite of cheerful. Unhappy. Unhappy, yeah, a bit, you know, I need more smart word. Cheerful, maybe we can say miserable. 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 Yeah, any, any, anything else? Okay, next, easy going. What will be the, for easy going? Reserved or shy. Yes, please. Easy going opposite? It's a, of a reserved. Okay. Talkative. Shy. Mm, no, shy, talkative doesn't mm. go. Reserved. Talkative, talkative. You know, talk Quiet. too much. Quiet. Yes, Quiet. that's the one. Quiet. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. So we are looking for an opposite word. Okay. Hard working. Very lazy. Hard working. Lazy. Okay, good. Untidy. <clears throat> Untidy. Clean. Tidy. Untidy. Tidy. Clean. Yes. Tidy. Optimistic. Yes, tidy. Optimistic. Pessimistic. Pessimistic. Shy. Cloud. Okay. 13 reserved. What's the opposite of shy? We'll see. To keep telling, we'll match it anyway. We have the answer. Okay, number 10, impatience. Patient. 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 Sociable. And sociable. Mm. Ambitious. Oh. Who is making noise? Oh, belly. Come on. 
Okay. Uh, sensitive. And sensitive. All right. Uh, we'll check them. We will answer. Yeah. We'll see how many are right. Please mute your microphone. Who's talking? Please mute your microphone. Who's talking? Oh, okay. Hey. Oh. Who's there? Oh, okay. I'll tell you. My book. I think it's Belly. Come on. It doesn't have a common sense. Okay, so as you can see, we got the you know opposite here: reliable, unreliable, lazy, hardworking, moody, easygoing. We're right, generous, mean, stingy. Mr. Belly, would you like to participate in the class? If so, I would request please be quiet. Is that clear to you? Please. All right. Um, cheerful, miserable, grumpy. I think someone was telling the grumpy, right? Easygoing, uptight, talkative, quiet, hardworking, lazy, untidy, tidy, shy, confident, optimistic, pessimistic, reserved, outgoing, impatient, patient, sociable, unsociable, ambitious, unambitious, sensitive, insensitive, or tough. So now we know a lot of uh, adjective with the opposite word. Okay, next activities will go. You're doing really great. Now, we are going to listen our audio, listen to five people. After each, say which adjectives or opposites from 10 describes the people. See, see, we have learned these are the adjective, right? All of us, we know what does it mean, right? So here, we are going to turn on our audio over there. They are going to describe five people and their nature. And from the discussion, we have to understand what adjective exactly belongs to them. And we have to identify, okay? Let's play. Listen carefully, please. Thank you. 1.7, what are you like? One. Are you listening? Is the voice is going there? Yeah. Okay, good. Life just becomes more and more complicated. All this new technology. As soon as I get used to something, it changes. What is the world coming to? <laughs> what does it say? This is the first person. What can we say about him? I'll, I'll play it again. Yeah. 1.7. What are you like? 1. Life just becomes more and more complicated. All this new technology. As soon as I get used to something, it changes. What is the world coming to? <laughs> mm -hmm. He's a bit of frustrated about the future, technology, you know. Yes, it's, it's talking about the life. Uh, uh, he, uh, he said it's very complicated more and more uh, with uh, this uh, technology. That's right. So which adjective it should go? Which one we should choose? Huh? And complicated. Complicated. Difficult but and complicated. Difficult, complicated, something he's worried about future. He's not so optimistic. He's not so optimistic. It's not. Yes. So what he is? He's, he's, he's pessimistic. He's pessimistic. That's right. He's pessimistic. Yeah. Okay, good. Now we'll go for the next. Uh, Listen. Two. I spent the whole weekend trying to teach my five-year-old nephew how to ride a bike. Oh, bless him. He fell time and time again. But we kept going and finally he was away. What exactly she wants to say? 
In patients. In patients, yeah. It and can go hard work. work. And hard work. Hard even hard eventually work. they found the way. So we say patient, hard working, okay. Difficult to go away. Okay. Difficult going, but we don't have an adjective here. We have to you know convert into one of those adjectives. So nothing here. So we, we take for now hard working and impatient. In the beginning, he was impatient. The later he become hardworking and be successful eventually, right? Okay, we, yeah. we, we let listen the third one now. Three. It's amazing. Richard can never find his wallet when it's his turn to pay. Richard never mm -hmm. find the wallet when he turns to pay. Genius. Which one? Genius. I'm sorry, I didn't get you. Which one you're talking about here? Generous, generous he said. Uh, gener okay, yeah. generous. But he's not generous, right? He's, he doesn't want to pay. When he goes it's to... optimistic. No, 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 it doesn't become optimistic either. He went out outside with a girlfriend and when it's time to pay, he say, I can't find the wallet. So he's not generous, oh. right? Oh. Impatient. Well, okay. What is that? Is he impatient? Yes. Uh, not really. What to become impatient here? Nothing to become. We can see a person who is trying to avoid paying the bill. He just wants to someone's to pay, not himself. Yes. Right. Then she's shocked. I think. She's. She's uh, shocked how to pay. Uh, yeah, the but thing. that's she. But we're talking about the him, the person. What? What? we can char characterize that attitude someone went with someone and when it's time to pay he said oh, he, he's showing the excuses that i don't have the wallet this and that you know that's something so mean isn't it he's not Is so he generous living? he's not so generous we found the generous yeah. he's not so generous right he's opposite of generous yeah. so he's stingy stingy, stingy. 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 is he stingy yeah. mean stingy. yes stingy. that's right yeah Okay, good. Now, four. Four. You no, go. No, I don't really want to. I'm not very good in large groups. I never know what to talk about, and pubs are so noisy. This one. Shy. Yeah, sorry, what was the first answer? Shy? Yes, he's shy. Then shy, yes, sir, because he doesn't want to talk. So, if you some, what else? What else? Shy and sensitive. I think it's uh, sensitive. Sensitive, mm -hmm. okay. How about sociable? But he's not so sociable, right? So, it's a unsociable, isn't it? I think unsociable can go. Shy, unsociable, anything else sensitive? Sensitive, uh, maybe. Now play it again, play it again. Okay, I'll play it again. Oh, you go, I don't really want to. I'm not very good in large groups. I never know what to talk about and pubs are so noisy. Yeah, shy, unsociable, shy, shy. Definitely shy and he's not sociable either. He's unsociable. Kind of sensitive too, right? Yeah. No, sir. Okay. He doesn't because he doesn't know what to talk about. So he's shy. Yes, obviously shy, but answer could be more than one. So we, we take it shy and unsociable. Okay, we'll listen to the next okay. one, then we'll find rest of them. This future all planned out. <laughs> He says he'll be a millionaire by the time he's 40. So noisy. Five. He has his future all planned out. <laughs> he says he'll be a millionaire by the time he's 40. Hmm, now, last one. Optimistic. Optimistic, yes. And another one. 
He ambitious. will be millionaire. He will be millionaire. Yes. He is very ambitious. 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 That's right. All right. Uh, we'll match this. Um, we'll match this. Um, we'll see how many we got. Right. We have the answer here. So it could be one or more. So number one, we have miserable, grumpy, uptight, pessimistic. You know, number of things can be here. Number two, the person number two, if you can remember, patient, hardworking, and tough. Number three, unreliable. He's not reliable. Mean, stingy. Number four, quiet, shy, reserved, unsociable. Number five, he's very confident, ambitious, and confident. So ambitious is there, and also he's a confident person okay so that's all so a bit of changes but that's what it is but you did a good job okay good try pretty much here we'll move forward so everyone was here right we have learned some of the important adjective here here and we matched this now see what you can work we may work on the workbook today a little bit okay reading and speaking we'll do another day not reading just i want to get a bit of um, you know uh, idea from you because we have a lot of things to cover I'll go back to the first page and I'll show you something. Come on. Hmm. Okay, that's what I wanted to cover. See the one chapter we have grammar, information question that we have done, pretty much in first class. We have done vocabulary all about adjective in second class. Today we're looking at, uh, you know, a bit of adjectives plus mainly adjectives. So here what I plan, reading need write, read, time to read, like a book reading, you know, and also writing need to write. Those two facilities, we don't have that much. And also, if we want to cover everything for one chapter, we might have to, you know, take out six, seven classes for one chapter, and then we cannot finish that much. So I was thinking to avoid for time being reading and writing, we'll avoid, reading, writing, listening, we'll avoid. We'll focus on speaking more, grammar, vocabulary development, and everyday English. What do you think? Anybody wants to particularly exactly. focus anything? Is it a good idea? Huh? You can give your opinion. I don't. Yes. So I wanted to focus on speaking, development of grammar, and everyday, development of, everyday English. Yes, development of vocabulary and everyday English, where we do more more of practice and speaking. That's right. Anyway, so if you have time, we'll cover them anyway. That's not a problem. But for now, that will be that will do actually. So let's go to the workbook today. In the first class, we have done this one from the workbook. Those who have done the first class know from the workbook. Today we are going to this one. So this will revise our WH. 
word that we have learned in the first class. See how much you remember now. So we'll go from here. Question with what, which, and whose. Write a question with what, which, whose, followed by noun. Okay? Like here. Do you want to get up six or seven, eight? The question here comes, what time do you want to get up? Likewise, we have to make questions here, one by one. We have to make questions here. So try one by one. Who would like to try the number two? Are you looking for a small shirt, medium, large? How we can make a question using this negative sentence? We have yeah. to, the, you know, tell me. Yeah. What size? What size do you want to, to look for? What size? What size do you looking for? What size do you looking for? Do you looking? What does size? It mean? What size of? Uh, what size are you yeah. looking for? Do you looking? Are you looking for? Yeah. Yes. R R. That's right. So yeah, what, yeah. Si what size shirt or what size? Either way. What size shirt are you looking, you looking for? for? So here we have to you know, follow the structure. After the WH word, we have to bring a noun. So what size? Size is a noun, right? What size? Noun. Then comes you know, auxiliary verb, which are, followed by subject, which is you, and obviously the ing from a verb which is looking okay likewise now number three is this jeans coach anis or henry's is this jeans coach anis or whose coach whose coach is this whose coach is this yeah any any more answer Alex, uh, I'm a bit behind, sir. Oh, number three. We're doing the number three. Nuruddin has answered already. I want your feedback now. Okay, he's Who's right. Who, uh, yep. Is yes. Which, uh, which coat is? is this, that's right. Number four, is your wife Hungarian, Spanish, Lebanese? What will be the question from for this? What nationality? Mm -hmm. Your wife is. Which, right? Which nationality? Then? Is your wife. Is your wife. Your That's right. Yes, is. Yeah. Which nationality is your wife? Good. Number five. Do you read the Times daily, Miro? The Daily Telegraph. Which uh, newspaper do you read? Which newspaper do you read? That's right. Number six, do you like classical music, rock and roll, jazz? Which one? Oh, which, which kind of music do you like? Do you, do you like? Come again. Which kind of, of music do you like? Uh, kind doesn't go with which. It, it goes with the what, what kind, what kind? Which kind? Yes. Which and kind? Which type goes? Yes. What type? Yeah. Which type the, the music? The, which type the, the music do you like? Do you like? It? Yeah, we can beat. We can do. Any any more idea from anyone? Uh, Alex, no. What okay. type of music do you like? What type of music? What type of music do you like? Yes, we can do like this way too. They are fine. 
Okay. Number seven. Is the healthiest vegetable cauliflower, broccoli, spinach? Which is the healthiest vegetable? Which is the healthiest vegetable? Cauliflower, broccoli, spinach. Mm -hmm. Nuruddin? What is the heart, what is the healthiest vegetable? What, what is what is the healthiest because, healthiest because here vegetable. we have because here we have the vegetables so the question should be which one among these? No, mama uh, we the need a noun after question. the after the after the WH word we need a noun. Is is you have to call a noun? The first question. So we need to bring a noun. We can, we, can, uh, we can start with the what? Can we make like which vegetable is the healthiest? Like vegetable is a noun. Is is. Yeah, vegetable is a noun. Then as usual is here be verb and the healthiest is object. Okay, we, we'll, we'll see this one anyway. We'll go through, we'll see which one goes better but all we are similar close close by. But bottom line is we have to remember this, what, which, whose, followed by a noun. Okay, so obviously that wouldn't be uh, is immediately because is is a verb here. Here is a main verb, is the is, not the auxiliary. So is wouldn't go. Before the is, we have to have a uh, noun after the WH word, okay? Okay, let's go for nine. Is it the 39 bus that goes to a station, the 18? Or the 130? Hmm. No, the eight, uh, the eight uh, question, sir. Oh, eight. Okay, yeah, that's right, eight. Is your smartphone an Apple or Samsung? What make is your phone? What make is your phone? Yeah, that's the best answer. It goes the make. We can say what? Way, what kind of, uh, what kind of, mobile phone you have, you know, like this, or which brand of mobile phone you have. But anyway, what make is the ideal answer? What make is your phone? Okay, number nine. Is it the 39 bus that goes to the station? So, what will be this? Which, which, which bus? Which bus? That goes to the station is. Mm -hmm. Alex? Who's, who's 39th bus? Who's 39th bus that goes to the station? Who's 39? Who's or which? No, who's? Who's been who's, who's bus? Who's who's, right? who's who's thirty nine? Hmm. Okay, we'll check this one answer shortly. A bit of confusion here. Uh, number ten. Is this my dictionary or your dictionary? Who's who's dictionary? Whose dictionary is this? Dictionary is this, right. Number 11, is your house number three? Number 33, which one? What is your house number? Okay, what is your, what is, the number? no, doesn't go, yeah. Yeah, carry on, yeah. What number is your house? Yes, that's the one. What number is your house number, the noun? Do you want no. this one or that one? Which, Which one, one do you, you want? want? Which one do you want, right. Okay, now we'll quickly go through. We have a few confusion, we'll see. All right, number one, two, what size in bracket shot you can say, if you're not, that's fine. Are you looking for oil and good? Or we can say even which one, okay? Which word are you looking for? What or which? Whose code is this? What nationality is your wife? Which newspaper, newspaper do you read? I think you did well here. 
what kind of music okay you can say kind of what kind of music yeah. do you like yeah. which vegetable see which vegetable is the healthiest mm -hmm. so here vegetable is the noun that you have to bring you, that's because that's the rule you know after the wh you have to bring a noun not the b verb here is b verb you cannot bring okay here we can see if we use the which we can use this also which is the healthiest vegetable we can make this answer another way also this way also right but it doesn't follow here rule the you know wh plus noun but we can do this way too okay this one also right what make is your smartphone which is smartphone do you have what kind of smartphone do you have we can make various way but if we um, use the rule is used here subject plus noun this is the best way number nine which bus goes to the station which bus goes to the station this is the one we we did a mistake i think whose dictionary is this right what number is your house right which one do you want yeah good good job so you got maximum of them is correct now we'll move forward we don't have that much time for today because we wasn't on time. Okay. Question okay. with question with uh, how we're going to do this one now. How wide is the England Channel? About twenty five miles from Dover to Celsius. Okay. Number two. What will be the answer? Dash. Is it from your house to school? About five kilometer. How far? How far? Okay, good. How far is it from your house to school? About five kilometers. Number three. Yes, can your car go? Let's finish one by one. When? 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 When can your car go? It doesn't go. Okay, because remember, we have to make the question with how. Write the question with how. All the question has to be under how. Okay. Use the how followed by and how. After the how, grammatically, uh, adjective goes after the how, okay? How fast? How fast? Okay, like fast is adjective, right? How fast can your car go? Okay, so this is the rule. We have to use how and after the how, yeah. adjective. And after the how, Okay, now, next. Less time do you spend on social media? How followed by adjective? How much time do you spend on social media? How much time do you spend on social media? Uh, number five, I guess about three hours a day. Number five, less do you go to the dentist? How less do you go to the dentist? Three or four times a year. How? How many times? Okay. How many times? Times. How often? How often? How often? With many doesn't go with time, you know. That's the thing. So it will be often. Frequency. At verb of frequency. This is at verb yeah. of frequency. So how often? How often do you go to dentist? Three or four times a year. Number six, how best have you known your girlfriend? Where is school together? So all my what will be the answer, guys? How long? How, how long? long? How long? How long? That's right. Okay. Dash, are you? Where are you? How long? No. See? How tall? How tall? Yes, how tall are you? When you see about, uh, you know, centimeter, meter, I, I didn't see, I didn't see the meters. Yes, you have to see that. Okay, how tall are you? This is the adjective. Now, dash, did you baby weigh when she was born? 3.2 kilos. How weigh? How weigh? Yes. How much? How, how much? much? How much did your baby weigh when she was born? 3.2 kilos. How much? Okay. Now, question with like. 
That's a question. This is the last one we're going to finish. Okay? So let's do it. Uh, match question in A with the answer B. So we have to match this A box with the answer B. What would you like to drink? Number C, I'll have a coke, please. Who is making noise? Come on. Where's the noise coming from? Okay. Nuruddin. Unmute yourself and tell one by one. Which one? Number two. Do you like cooking? Do you like cooking? What will be the answer from the B? No, I hate it. I can't even boil an egg. Hmm, that's yeah. more relevant. Okay. You're right, G. Yeah. Number three. Who do you look like in your family? <laughs> what will be the answer? Eight. Everyone says I look like my mother. That's right. Yes. Good. Number four. What's the weather like today? Hey, it's lovely and sunny. Alex, would you like to say? Okay, let's finish. Hey, that's right. Alex, you try now. Would you like to go for a walk? Would you like to go for a walk? What would be the answer here? Alex, you here? No, thanks. I'm too tired. You're too tired. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, do you like Mike? Is the Mike is. Yes. Do you like Mike? Six. Yeah. Yeah. He is all right, but he is not really my type. Hmm. That's right. Which is E. Would you like tea or coffee? Yeah. Can I answer, sir? Please. B, either. I don't mind. Or whatever you are having. All right. I go for that, B. Number eight. What's your sister like? She's OK. She's OK. We, we get on most of the time. D. All right, it's good job. We have finished all of them. Okay. Now that's all pretty much for today. Yeah. We didn't have that much student today, so we couldn't cover a lo lot of things. But anyway, we have done a good job. We'll catch you day after tomorrow. Thanks, uh, Thank thanks for lot. Sir. You have a wonderful night. Bye for now. Thanks. Bye. Next time. Thank you.